Hey everybody, welcome back to Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark for Tournament Part 2. We have a Templar, we have an Alchemistic Plague Doctor, we got a Peddler Scoundrel, Reaver, Druid Mender, and Sorcerer Gambler. Again, I've heard Sorcerers are pretty nasty. We've got Hailstorm, Firestorm, Meteor Storm, Thunderstorm, Darkstorm, Holy Storm, Void Storm. Deals 80% to 120% water damage to all enemies on the map based upon proximity. Okay, so they have to die. <laughs> they have to die quickly. But there's 24 MP to do that each time, so hopefully they won't be able to do that very often. Good thing is our uh, HP is not persistent across the uh, the playthrough here, so we did heal in between the and between the the tournament rounds. I will up my resistance because of that crappy sorcerer there. And rather than sitting back and waiting for them, I kind of have to come forward and go after that sorcerer. Okay, you had a barrier. You missed. Congratulations. Let's get the demonic might up. Now, uh, cleansing blade, so you're actually going to take them away. You jerk. If I had paid attention to that, I uh, might have been able to stop him from doing that. Give Anadine a quick heal with Rainer. He's not doing really great work as a mender. So, M. M Examus, the Reaver, versus Deegan, the Templar. Didn't we have a Deegan last time? Okay, there's the Sorcerer Gambler. I mean, I could go for them. I kind of want to put some damage on Deegan the Templar, though, for right for now, because he's kind of low health. Forty-three, and he would be poise or and get bleed. How many? Yeah, I'm just gonna attack him. Oh, he's gonna barrier up though. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Poison slice him for fifty. I know I can be a little further out, but that puts me closer to all these guys, so... And farther away from heals if I need them, so... Poison and bleed. Nice. Hopefully you don't live that long for them to hurt you. Uh... So I'm just looking to see if anybody needed any healing. 42 with a dark. Fifty-seven with a water too. I think that's what I will do. Come here, peddler. 
Patented usage plus po what? What? Plus potion. So that was interesting. I don't appreciate that. If I could come here, I could do a, uh, a fire two on top of Kyrie. That would hurt them both, but skip Kyrie because of smart casting. Oh, you've just removed his poison and bleed. And healed him. Why do I let you do these things? I might just want to put the Aegis back on Rainer and Anadine. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not great. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be standing in a in a perfect pattern like that. So I can continue to attack Deegan the Templar. Or I can uh, move on their Druid Mender, which maybe is the better option. Or, actually, uh have this option. I have a Wrathful Burst. It would hurt me for a quarter of my HP. And my healers don't have their turns coming up soon, so probably best not to do that. gonna have... Oh, there. I was gonna say he was gonna have it, but he had it. He had enough MP for that. Alright, well, at least I'm standing here and I can do a mass heal. Doesn't help Anadine and Kyrie, who are uh, kind of out there on their own, though. Oh, gosh! Okay, uh, the tournament may end now. <laughs> that patented usage is pretty good. Me standing like a fool is not good, though. Um, okay, yeah, this sorcerer gambler has got to die. I don't know how to kill him, but I gotta kill him. Do a wrathful beam. 46 hit points. Not great. Holy Beam. 43 hit points. I did a Holy Burst. 64 hit points. The regular attack is 59. Poison Slice 62. Sleep Slice 58. Does my Ancient Power hurt me, the Burst? It does not. So... What if I just burst it right here? I kind of have to avoid that weird peddler, though, because um, I'd hit Anadine and she's kind of low on health. So, yeah, let's do this. Oh. Missed. Oh, and now I'm moved. I probably shouldn't have moved because uh, now I'm stuck and I can't get a mass heal on Kyrie and Anadine now. 
And I don't have a mass heal from... Yates doesn't have a mass heal at all. But I can stand where I am, which is probably a bad idea, and just heal Anadine. I think I will just stand here. I know that's bad, but I will try to resolve that soon. I don't have a mass heal from Virgil, either. His HP is kind of low. Kyrie has 210 hit points. I'm going to heal Yates. And I'm kind of going to move. mass heal these two, which should heal me as well. I did not. thought I had the thing that healed me. Yeah, I thought I had Blessed One. Excuse me, Blessed One? Every time the character uses a single target healing ability. Well, screwed that one up. Sorry, Yates. Well, I can't move. <laughs> I could raffle burst. Not worth it, though, maybe. It's just, can't hit anybody any other way, though. that sorcerer again. Oh, and he has enough power to do it. Yeah, sorcerers are jerks. I don't think we're getting past this round. And I could heal. Right, are you still rooted? You are still rooted. Probably should heal you. There's that peddler again. Yeah, so I'm stuck. Only thing I could do is holy burst. This guy must have pretty big resistance, right? Yeah, he does. I mean, there's no chance of me winning at this point. I'm trying, but we'll play it out. We'll get some personal experience. Not experience for our characters, but some personal experience. If we game over, does that take us back? Do we get any of the experience that we've gained so far? Or does that essentially revert us right back to before the tournament, terminant, before the tournament even started? Let's kill this. Let's kill this guy. Uh, excuse me? Why don't I hit you? Zero HP? 
Oh, because my weapon is a... My weapon is a freaking uh, earth weapon, and you have earth resistance, so I can't even hurt you. Well, actually, I can with my uh, ability, so I'm going to enrage blow you and just kill you. Now I get cleave. So... Seventy nine. I just come here. Here he goes. Quick push. You will root me, but that's okay. It's not so bad. I'm going to come right behind Kyrie and give her a heavy potion. Mass weakened, so I can't heal those two. All right, so we'll just have to be on the offensive. Is that what you're telling me? Sixty-four and chance to bleed. If I try to do my burst, I'm gonna hit uh, Virgil. Yeah. Unfortunately. Can't heal Virgil, so there's no point in even trying. I can heal myself for, for 100. Or I can heal two for 110. Is the 10 worth it? Now, Virgil, can you get over there and do something? Now, a bonk would not work. Thirty-eight. So yes, I have eighty-eight percent chance to kill you. That doesn't. But these would. Um, eighty-eight percent chance to kill uh, that guy. Who else? You're gonna go. Then you. I mean, I kind of don't want to set myself up like in a big line, though, and I... Let's just, let's just get the 88% out of the way. Got the boon. Now let's just run for it. Just come here so they can't get behind me. Oh, I was poisoned. Or bleeding. Rainer, you can't heal yourself because you're weakened. You can't heal Virgil because he's weakened. I could panacea myself to remove the weakened. Or I could just try to. Or I can heal Anadine and Kyrie. That's probably the best. Um, then let's say we just get out of the way. Fail fish. 
Okay, what is that? Does that always do haste, or does it do a random thing? Sales pitch. Grants haste in a small area. A unit with haste will get turned faster. So what all can a peddler do? Lacerating trap. So traps, traps, traps. Critical expertise gains crit. Sales pitch gains haste. Patented usage. The selected item will be used on a small area. Can't be used for Phoenix Ashes or Mana Stone. I haven't even seen a Mana Stone before, so... I can't move because of Root. I could heal myself for 27 with Field Aid, or I could just give myself a potion for 100. And now Root should be over. You're hasting them as well, so... Hate that you're hasted. Kyrie can't move. I can bolt you for 54. I think that's what I'll have to do. Okay, the root is gone. Can't heal Virgil. Rainer. Well, what I could do is actually remove his crypt. Remove the cripple and his poison. That's good work. Can I do something against this guy? I don't want to set myself up in a... in a position for this guy to do... or the peddler to do their... whatever patented usage or whatever it was. Um... Fortunately... they all move so quickly. heal myself. I mean, that's kind of what Lana kind of wasted her turn if I don't heal myself, though. 96. Yeah, let's heal. Oh, because we had Boone. We had the crit heal. Okay. Ouch. So I think Lana's toast. That's bad. Because she was our main healer. <laughs> okay, Rainer. Uh, we gotta start making moves. I can do this. 57 and 44. Multi-shot doesn't really work. Oh, yes. You have the 380% whatever. Forgot about that ability. Oh, I don't have the MP to use it, though. Okay, well. Never mind, then. So, do I use you to heal? Or do I use you to attack? I think at this point we go all on attack. Well, at least that, uh... Occupied them. Luther the Mighty. I might be able to kill you with a... 
enraged blow. Yes, if it hits. And we get another turn. 198, 286, 271. I almost want to pull these guys away from Virgil and Rainer. So I almost feel like I've moved here and do a uh, vicious push. That hurt. That killed her. Ouch. Okay. Uh, not really what I wanted to see. Okay, I gotta sleep you. I hope it hits. It did. Like, I want you to die. But I don't know if I can kill you. Um. Because if you can do that stinking. What was that? That desperate blow or whatever it is? Like, the more you hurt, the more damage you can do. And so you'll be able to kill. When you get your turn. Before Kyrie gets her turn, you'll be able to kill her. She'll be so hurt. But I think I have to do it. kill you with Rainer somehow. I doubt that. 44. I can't root him because I can't reach him. Heal Kyrie for 52. Is that the play? I mean, you'll be able to hit for 200 if you do that to me. I just think I might heal Kyrie for 52. Um, or I can actually move here and heal myself. So if I do a mass heal here. Oh, I can't heal because of the weekend I still have on me. Poop. Um, let's move over one. I'll probably get killed by the peddler. Okay, at least the bleed didn't happen. Yeah, here comes that desperate blow. But we survived. Okay, uh, I don't have the... I don't have the heavy potion, though. Should I have done that, or should I have, uh... Should I have health siphoned whatever from them? Yeah, 
Okay, we got a boon, but we're probably not going to live long enough to use it. You have 36. Uh, you don't have enough to do your... Let's say if we could get that sniper shot, that would have been very beneficial. I think I have to leave... I come over here to do the mass heal. That sets me up to be hit by another rock by this jerk. I think I just heal Kyrie. And then maybe we move back. I'm kind of leaving Virgil out there to dry. Oh, you're bringing somebody back to life. That's. Oh, you brought the. Did you seriously just bring... The, uh... Sorcerer back to life? Absolute jerk face. McJerkus. Can't hit you with a rock. I could bring up back my own person, but that's... I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, actually, it is very much worth it. Um, if I can bring Lana back, and she gets her turn immediately. I could heal Lana up to max. Or Yates could come back. Alright, I gotta think about this. Um, do I heal myself with a potion? Or do I bring someone back to life? Bring Lana back to life. I almost want to get in here and kill Moretti. But... We have that ability, so I'm going to heal two myself. Do I heal two or do I mass heal us both? I think I want to heal two myself and get out of here. I want to create some space. I didn't want to use the last, uh, the last potion on Rainer. Wild card, what's it gonna do? Root me to the spot. Mm, I needed to move, though. Unless you can do some good work, Virgil. Yes. Yes! The boon! The boon! Uh, and we got the boon back because we killed. We keep siphoning him. I mean, that's probably smart because the more MP he has, the more chances he can do that, uh, whatever his sniper shot. So you're healed, um, I need to remedy myself so I can get unrooted, please. I need to come for you.
I can hit you with uh, 27 hit points. Or I can start healing, but healing's not important right now. Um, or I can move away a little bit. And do 36 hit points. Virgil, um... Do I use... Can this guy get to me to kill Virgil? No. Um... What is your counterattack? Oh, you counterattack? Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal then. I hate to use your boon on this, unless I can kill. No. Um, but you won't counterattack a magic hit. So as long... Kyrie would have to do 70 hit points of damage in her next hit, though. And I can't guarantee she's gonna do that. So I'll take the crit heal. And move back in this corner so you can't hit me from any side. Lana? You're okay. Good heal. But, uh. Doing some damage. actually hurt you in any way. I mean, I could come bop you with my staff, but that's not gonna hit you for 50 damage. So we're at 127 hit points. Rainer's at 162. I'm not in a position where I can mass heal. I'm gonna heal to level up and um, move here. Here? It's not much, but it's a little. Now, Kyrie. You can just put this Joker to sleep before they can get their turn. Alright, so their turn is forfeit now. And they were hurt by the bleed. So Virgil can get the kill now. And we have the boon for next time if we need it. Rainer does not have enough MP to do his sniper shot. He can bop you on the head for 46 hit points. He can multi shot you for 39. He can rain of arrows you for 35. I mean, he has enough hit points where I don't think he's gonna die. If I just come over here and bop you? Oh, we missed. You keep siphoning me, and I don't think it's working out for you. Alright, well, I think we've survived this, uh, this mission. I'm not gonna do tournament day three, because I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna end well. It's gonna hit you with a rock. No, Kyrie. Unfortunately, um, Virgil doesn't get the last hit, probably. <laughs> A glorious victory! Where our, will our fearless warriors continue the fight or retire with their winnings? Um, I'm gonna retire because I don't think we can survive the next battle. Um... Yeah, so let's retire. 15,000 GP.
Anna Dean was the MVP. Uh, she's dead though. Anna Dean is injured. Lana is injured. Yates is injured. I mean, I have a ton of GP, but what am I doing with it though? All right, let's go through the whole thing. We've got a lot of uh, abilities to hand out here. If you want to sit through that? You're welcome to sit through it. If not, um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Thanks for sitting through the tournament. Sorry we couldn't get into uh, day three of the tournament, though. All right, so Kyrie under Fellblade. Chaos Slice does 90% damage to the target from a distance and inflicts one random debuff. Versatile is a passive, allows the character's skills and spells to inflict critical hits, and when the character lands a critical hit, they gain a portion of their maximum MP. Okay, yes, let's have that. I like having uh, passives. Evade magic. Miasma. Decay slice. Decay slice would be nice because they're healing each other a lot, so if I can just stop that... And in the Mender Tree, let's give you Mass Heal 1. Unlocked Gambler and Wrangler. Uh, Rainer in the Mender Tree. Um, yeah, I think I do want to give you this passive. Mana Font. Unlocked Plague Doctor. Uh, let's give you Heal 2. Let's give you Blessed One. Um, we can instantly get a poison from Plague Doctor. Why did I make you a mender again? I need a notebook where I write all this stuff down. Why did I make Rainer a mender? Because... There was something... Was it Ranger 5, Mender 4, Mercenary 5? Was it this thing? It might be this thing. Don't know what that is. But, uh... So, I guess I, I make him a Mercenary now? Thanks for being my Mender for me, but I'm gonna change class. And make you a Mercenary at this point. I need to make sure I set your abilities. Yeah, that's fine. And what equipment? You have a sledge. All right. Let's keep going. Virgil from the Druid class. Fire one and total shield. Adaptive affinity. Mind expert. Let's go Mind Expert. Like I said, I like the passives. And that does... One passive from, uh... Oh, there's double cast in the passive. Um, increases the character's mind value by 14 plus 1 times the level. So what is your... Your mind is 168 right now. And now it is... 203. Do I want to hold off for double cast? Or do I want to go fire one total shield? I don't really need fire one. Total shield. Eh. I think I'm going to keep some MP. And try to go for double cast. Keep MP. I mean, keep ability points. Lana. From Alchemistic, let's give you... I mean, Mystic Shield would be nice, but I don't want you to remove... I don't want you to get rid of your MP. I kind of need you to have your MP. Um, let's go refresh so I can unlock this bottom thing. 
mass haste. I think I'm gonna hold on for mass haste. Machina from the night. Let's take one for all. Rin from Plague Doctor. Let's take uh, Fortitude. Again, I like I like having passives. Michael from Knight. Let's also take one for all. Rudy from Scoundrel. You can have um, Steel Buffs. Sure. Azraleth from Mender. Get Blessed One. Unlock Gambrock Pass. Mercenary, you will take um, Counterattack. March from Skeletal. Let's have you at automatize. Uh, at <laughs> at automa. Auto. To my yeah, auto at at auto to my Autotomize? <laughs> yeah, I can't speak. Autotomize. I mean, I think automate is a better thing, but sure. Character, it's a, it's a actual skill. Character gains one movement and two jump until the end of the battle, but loses 25% of their current HP. Oh, I can also take Soul Suck. Deals some damage, absorbs all the damage dealt as MP, absorbs it as MP, and then deals more damage if the target is afflicted with bleed. Or we can hold off on Devour. When a character defeats a unit, it restores 20% of its max AP HP. I might hold on to for Devour, to be honest with you. Anadine, uh, let's have you take... I mean, Corrupted Blade would be nice. Do that 300% damage when I, when I need it to happen. That, that could be good. Even if it does hurt you. Yates. Um, Dark Locust. Or Dark 2. Well, actually, we can learn both. So, Dark Locust and Dark Duke. Mastered Anatomist. Mender. Let's take Mana Font. Unlock Plague Doctor class. And Plague Doctor, let's instantly take Poison. So, let's change your class, Gates. I want to make you. I mean, you're maxed out anatomist, but that doesn't really give us anything. Having you eventually become a druid might be nice. You would need to get to Wizard 5 or Alchemi and Alchemistic 3. Well, you're already a slash wizard. So let's send you Alchemistic route. Class changed. Actually, I probably want to change this. Um, I already have so many Alchemistics. Well, I have a lot of wizards too, but let's, let's set your abilities. I actually wanted you to keep your anatomy, so you can be a, an alchemistic slash anatom- excuse me, anatomist? Lancaster? Templar? You will take evade attack, that sounds nice. Always evades any regular attack. Make sure we set that. 
Atelier, the Wrangler. Heal. Beast Whisperer. 75% chance of charm on the target. Let's Beast Whisperer. Blackington from the Dal Drenner. Let's have you tear up. I don't know what you just became, but you're now a Re M instead of a Dal Drenner. And from Scout, let's take you. Let's have you learn Scout. Reveals all tracks. Um, I guess you can stay where you are. And Tuka. In the Ar Arpia, Arpia class, you can tear up. Now you, uh, you're a Termagant. And you'll have Precise Strike from Deft. Make sure we save. Now I am going to go back here to Thesperos. And I'm going to start some missions and then end the episode. There's still this that we have to do in the uh, Sentina Hinterlands to uh, to really knock it out, though, to 100% it. You have to have a stealthy person. Really have a stealthy person. You know what? It's a 60% base chance of success. Maybe we'll complete it if we just send somebody and we get ability points for doing it. You know, maybe a scout is a stealthy person? I don't know. We'll send Blackington. I don't know if that really counts, but sure. And then let's send my higher level people because they will get ability points. So, Virgil... Lancaster, sure, go. You do that. Oh. I kind of needed Lancaster for this one. For the holy magic. Let's look for something that has... Nothing has... Nothing actually had... Experience points I could gain. Well, let's just go from the top. Disturbing rumors have been circulating about the dead walking the hills at night. At first, I dismissed these stories of the ramblings of bored farmers until the recent discovery of several unearthed graves. If the undead truly are to blame holy magic or the, or the forces of the arcane work best, counter necromancy. I don't have a wizard, though. I mean, I kind of do with Lucina, but let's hold off on that. Um, I have a job for you, not an especially exciting or romantic job, but one that needs doing. Some of our farmers need protection from the creatures of the field and forest while the last of the harvest is brought in. Consider the various types of flying medicine menace out that way. Best bring the good marksmen along. I don't know if I have one of those. I certainly don't. Um, don't have anybody set up for marksmen. So let's skip that. And everything else is repeatable.
You know what? Let's go for this one. Even if we don't have a marksman, 70% chance to succeed. So, and you get what? Influence points and ability points. It's in Pellier. It's in Azraleth. Well, Azraleth is kind of our ranger. She's a mercenary slash ranger, so maybe she's a considered a marksman, so maybe I should back this up. Have her go first. Alright, let's send that. And we can actually do one more. This one, you want to take a monster to sniff them out? Sure. A group of feral creatures have been terrorizing people in the region. I believe that during the day they've been making their den somewhere around the falls. If I were you, I'd bring a monster. Well, let's send March. Let's send Katuka. Let's send, um, you know, let's send Lucina. And that'll be it for this episode. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.